Hello everyone, Sherlock Fan number one here, and we are back at it with another Disney Pixar theory. But this, this week we will be focusing on a theory I came up with early in my teens while re-watching Toy Story 2 for the millionth time. This theory revolves around a very similar theory I've heard slash seen other YouTubers and people discuss often, which is the absence of Andy's father throughout the Toy Story franchise. But my theory is a little different, however. You see, while I was re-watching the scene where Woody has just decided to stay with the Roundup Gang, I wondered something. As we see the Roundup Gang episode continue to play and a familiar tune of You've Got a Friend in Me plays in the background, we see, as Woody does, a boy enter on the TV screen. But here's the interesting theory I have about that same kid. What if that kid was Andy's father and he was allowed to keep Woody after the show ended? Now hear me out. As seen in this image I found here, Woody's Roundup would have aired during the 1950s and would likely line up with Andy's father being a kid around the same time, and then meeting Andy's mom later on and having kids, and likely that's when Andy was given Woody. The first thing I want to break down with that is the question, where is he then, and how come he's not around after passing Woody down to Andy? And here's my guess so far, because you see Molly, Andy's younger sister, is shown as a toddler in both the first and second movie, telling us that Andy's mom had to have had Molly recently or within the last year or so. So my guess is that Andy's father would have passed away recently during the films. And why do I think this, you may ask? Well, one, when Andy's walking through the hallway of his house in the first movie, we see no pictures of his father or even a family photo. And I'm wondering if that's because Miss Davis is just too heartbroken to have photos up around this point in time. And again, due to Molly being as young as she is, it makes me think that his death was pretty recent. Now, some people could assume maybe the father just left or the parents are getting a divorce, but I feel like the story goes a bit deeper than that. Because, well, for one, we never see Andy talk about going to his dad's nor having spoken of his dad, and he doesn't seem angry, sad, or even resentful in any way. But he does seem to have a special connection with Woody and seems lost if he had to give him up. And I think it's because after Mr. Davis's passing, Woody was able to be there to comfort Andy and take his mind off of his grieving. And and as far as Miss Davis, she doesn't seem angry or depressed. She seems like she has just had to be able to function on her own without anyone else's help. And that, in my mind, is because she has had to for quite some time. Anyways, this is all just a theory, mind you. Just simply something I found interesting and thought I'd share in a video. But of course, if you have any of your own theories or have anything you think I might have missed, please feel free to comment them below and let me know. But as for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Sherlock Fan number one signing off.